This video is brought to you by Soccer.com, North America's largest online soccer retailer. Be sure to use coupon code 10SR4U at checkout for 10% off any order of $75 or more. Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com with a comparison of the entire Nike Hypervenom line. So from left to right, I have the top end Hypervenom Phantom, the first takedown, the Hypervenom Fatal, the second takedown, the Hypervenom Felon, and I will not be including the third takedown, which is the Hypervenom Fade. Has about a $50 retail. It's very, very low end, not really comparable to these shoes in terms of overall quality, and is more of a generic budget boot, so it won't be included in today's comparison. So as far as what the differences are between the Phantom, Fatal, and Felon, I'm going to be covering that in today's video, so you guys should hopefully have a a better idea as to which model in the Hypervenom series is going to be the best one for you. So stay tuned, listen to what I have to say, and we'll get right into the comparison. Nike has actually developed three brand new synthetics for the entire Hypervenom line, and each of these synthetics actually has their own unique qualities that are going to appeal to different people for different reasons. To start off with the top end Phantom, this shoe features Nike's brand new Nike Skin Synthetic. You can see the branding right there. It is by far the most unique of the entire Hypervenom line, and probably the most unique synthetic currently out there on the market. Obviously, it does have a very textured design about it. Um, which gives it a very unique look and also a very unique feel. Basically the concept behind Nike Skin Synthetic is that you have a kind of fused together upper with several different layers made up of different materials. So what gives it this textured almost honeycomb like design is a mesh membrane on the inside of the shoe. You can't really see it on the outside but it's essentially a meshing with a little bit of padding to it that they've fused on several layers of what is essentially a membrane that isn't completely solid, very, very thin layers. And then of course you have your Nike skin frame going along the outside in the areas that need the most amount of support. Now on the outside of the upper itself, it does have what they call an X-ray texturing. So it does have a slightly grippy feel to it when you are making touches on the ball. And of course, like all the top end models from Nike, it also does feature the ACC all conditions control, um, which does allow for slightly better friction between your foot and the ball when in wet playing conditions. So what does it feel like? The answer to that question is that it's very, very unique. It's unlike anything else that I've personally ever used. It has the thin quality of something like a Tasian synthetic from Nike, but at the same time, it's ultra soft and flexible. You can see that from right out of the box. It's basically like wearing a sock on your foot. It has a very natural feel about it. And even though it is very, very thin, this meshing layer they have on there actually provides a slightly softer touch on the ball than you might expect from such a thin upper. Definitely one of my personal favorite uppers that I've used in a long time and uh, a very innovative type of material that Nike has put out for the top end Hypervenom Phantom. Definitely something to try out if you are looking for something all new. As far as the middle shoe goes, the Hypervenom Fatal, this is what Nike calls Mirage Synthetic. Again, it is a fused type material where you have a very, very thin layer. You can see that there are there is no texturing on this particular upper, but there are some perforations that you can see kind of poking through the upper itself. It's not actually perforations in the upper. It has to do with the internal support cage that is fused to the shoe itself, making this an incredibly thin shoe. It's thinner than the, the Nike skin on the top end Phantom model. And I would even argue is thinner than the Tatian synthetic used on the top end Nike Mercurial Vapor 9. It's super, super thin and gonna provide that very responsive barefoot feel. And then on the outside, you do have your fused on Nike skin support frame that kind of supports the areas that need the most amount of kind of stability when you are making these hard cuts and changes of direction. So like I said, it's a very, very thin upper, provides a nice soft touch on the ball um, with very, very little added kind of padding or protection, I should say. And when I say soft, I mean the upper is just very, very flexible, especially from right out of the box. I have to admit that it has somewhat of a plasticky feel, but in comparison to other takedown models in this particular price range, this is by far the nicest thin synthetic soccer shoe currently out there on the market. Um, this is easily a synthetic that I think could pass as a top end synthetic as well. Um, it really is that good and definitely something to take a look at, especially if you were considering a shoe like the Nike Mercurial Veloce, which is the first takedown model in the Mercurial series. Now for the Hypervenom Felon, this features Trophy Synthetic, um, it's very similar to what you're going to find on the Nike Mercurial Victory 4. A little bit better quality in my opinion in that it is a little bit softer. You can see it isn't nearly as thin as the other materials. It does have that same kind of artificial honeycomb texturing on the outside, but this is just kind of built into the synthetic itself. It has nothing to do with mesh layers or anything like that. And it's more for looks than anything, at least in my opinion. 
It does have a matte finish about it, as you guys can see. And you do have what appears to be a Nike skin frame going around here, but it actually just is paint on the upper itself. and it actually has nothing to do with supporting your foot or anything like that. It's not the best synthetic out there by any means, but for a low-end shoe in the $80 to $60 price range, it's definitely one of the nicer ones currently out there on the market. And like I said, if you're looking at something like the Nike Mercurial Victory 4, the Felon is definitely a very comparable synthetic, and in my opinion, slightly better just because it is a little bit softer. So that's pretty much it as far as the uppers go and we'll talk about the sole plates and stud patterns next. When it comes to the sole plates and stud patterns featured on the entire Hypervenom line, there isn't a lot of variation going from the top end Phantom to the low end Felon. In fact, the top end Phantom and first takedown model Fatal feature the exact same sole plate and stud pattern, which is kind of a unique feature of the Fatal and makes it a very, very good value overall. Now to start off with the Phantom here, um, the sole plate is made up of two separate pieces just like it is on the Fatal. You have your plate base which is made up from a glass nylon material. It's basically a very stiff plastic. And then of course you have your stud plate which has the studs on there. And the stud pattern itself is unique to the Hypervenom line. It has some similar qualities to the Mercurial Vapor. And if you guys want to get a better idea as to how this shoe performs in terms of traction, I will leave an annotation on screen to my traction test video of the um, Nike Hypervenom Phantom. So go ahead and check that out. There also is that split toe design in the, uh, the sole plate itself. It's made to make for a more natural feel in that you can articulate the outside and inside of the forefoot area a little bit more easily. In all honesty, I didn't notice a difference in feel with the split toe design in any of the three models. So if it's a main feature that you are really kind of hoping on to provide a certain feel, don't be disappointed if you don't really notice it at all because I didn't for the most part. As far as the stud pattern itself goes, you can see that it is all conical studs apart from the one bladed support stud in the forefoot and of course the one push off stud. Again, very similar to what you might find on a mercurial model. Um, here at the tip of the toe. It performs really, really well. The studs themselves have a very narrow profile and there isn't an abundance of studs. As you can see, they're very well spaced out. So they dig into the ground really, really nicely. You get that nice stable feel and plenty of grip at push off, which is obviously very important. And you still get plenty of rigidity through the midfoot for striking the ball due to the stiffness of the glass nylon sole plate. Now I'll give you guys a quick glance at the Fatal sole plate itself. Again, the sole plate and stud pattern are exactly the same on the Fatal and the Top End Phantom, right down to the materials and the construction of the sole plate. So again, there is no difference between the Top End and First Takedown when you're talking about the Hypervenom line and the sole plate and stud pattern. Um, as far as the Felon itself goes, the stud pattern itself is laid out exactly the same. So in terms of performance, when it comes to traction, they're going to be very, very similar. The only difference is you don't have the glass nylon plate. Instead, it is a one solid piece of TPU plastic, so it isn't nearly as responsive as what you're going to get from these two higher end models, but still performs really, really well for a lower end soccer shoe. So that's pretty much it for these stud patterns themselves. And to move on to a quick weigh-in so you can see what the difference is in weight between the top end and low end models. So I'm going to weigh all three models for you today in real time. Keep in mind that every shoe that I have here is the right foot. They're all in brand new condition and they're all a size 9 US. So this is a very, very fair comparison. So I'll throw the top end Phantom on the scale first. You can see that these guys weigh in at 6.9 ounces, so under the 7 ounce mark, very, very lightweight, both in hand and on feet. We'll take that off the scale. We'll throw on the Hypervenom Fatal. Again, this is the first takedown model. Throw that on the scale. And you can see that these guys weigh in at 6.9 ounces, so exactly the same as the top end Hypervenom Phantom, which is kind of interesting, but at the same time, doesn't really surprise me all that much, simply because they have the exact same sole plate and stud pattern. So we'll take that off the scale and we'll throw on the low end Hypervenom Felon. And you can see that these guys weigh in at 8.15 ounces. So they do weigh a little bit more than the Fatal and Phantom, which isn't too surprising, but it still is a relatively lightweight soccer shoe at the price that it retails for. So that's pretty much it for the weigh-in portion of this video. And move on to a quick on feet so you can get a better idea as to how all these models fit and what the sizing is like. To start off, we're going to compare the fit of the Hypervenom Phantom to the first takedown model, Hypervenom Fatal. Now, the entire Hypervenom line, at least from Phantom to Felon, all feature the exact same X1.1 last, which is essentially the shape of the boot itself. So while they all fit very, very similarly, there is differences mainly due to the materials of the upper. We start off with the Hypervenom Phantom, features the very soft and flexible Nike Skin Synthetic, Probably the most comfortable thin synthetic currently out there on the market. And what makes it really, really unique is that it has the ability to stretch. So it will be suitable for pretty much all foot types after a couple hours of wear time. 
and they're just extremely comfortable and truly do feel like a second skin on your foot. Almost have a sock-like type of comfort, if you ask me. And they definitely do run true to size. So if you are looking to order a pair, definitely go for your regular size for the best possible fit. As far as the Fatal itself goes, again, it has that same X1.1 last, so it's a very, very similar fit. But the Mirage Synthetic, while it is very thin, does not have the stretching ability of Nike skin. So the way it fits from right out of the box is the way it's going to fit for the majority of its lifespan. So just keep that in mind. With that being said, it isn't necessarily an overly wide fitting shoe, again, because it doesn't have that ability to stretch, but it is suitable for most foot types, just as long as you don't have an overly wide foot. And again, this model does fit true to size, just like the top and Phantom. Next, we're gonna compare the fit of the first takedown Fatal versus the second takedown Felon. Now, of course, both shoes have the exact same X1.1 last, so the fit is very high quality on the low end felon, even though it is a low end shoe. The problem that I have regarding the comfort is the quality of the Trophy Synthetic. It isn't the softest, it's not the most flexible, it doesn't have the ability to stretch. So for that reason, it isn't quite as natural feeling as what you might get from the Fatal or Top End Phantom. But for the most part, it still feels pretty good for a shoe in this particular price range. When you're talking about width, again, the synthetic itself is fairly rigid, so it doesn't have um, that ability to stretch. So if you do have wider feet, you're probably best staying away from this particular model. Uh, but for the most part, it is suitable for most foot types. As far as sizing goes, I mentioned that the Phantom and Fatal both fit true to size. Whereas to me, the Felon, again, due to the synthetic not being able to stretch, does feel a little bit tighter than the other two higher end models. So while I am wearing a size 9 US in this particular Felon, I could easily go up to a size 9.5 if I wanted something that was perhaps a little bit more comfortable. So if you're looking at the Phantom or Fatal, go true to size. If you're looking at the Felon, you can go half size up very safely to allow for a more comfortable fit. So that's pretty much it for the on feet section of this video, and we'll move on to my final thoughts. All right, guys, that's it for my comparison of the all new Hyper Venom line from Nike. For those of you guys wondering which is the best of all three models in today's video, it definitely is the Top End Phantom. The Nike Skin Synthetic, the brand new sole plate and stud pattern combination, overall makes for a very innovative shoe, something that's never been done before, and at the end of the day just performs really, really well. It's one of my personal favorite shoes of 2013 so far, and definitely a great new model that has been introduced from Nike. With that being said, I was still very, very impressed with the all new Hypervenom line. Every single model has its own attractive qualities and is going to be one of the better options in each of their respective price ranges. So no matter what your budget is, it's definitely worth it to take a look at the Hypervenom model in your particular price range. Now, if you guys are interested in any more information on the overall performance of any of the three models, you can go ahead and check out the full written reviews on my website, soccerreviewsforyou.com. They're all up and all linked down below in the description. And on each of the review pages, you're also gonna find buy it now links with the best prices online, including exclusive SR4U coupon codes to get yourself some additional discounts if you are interested in ordering any of the, these three pairs for yourself. If you did enjoy today's video, be sure to support it with a like. If you guys have any questions, be sure to leave a comment down below and I definitely will get an answer out to you. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest soccer gear. You can find all of my social media information down below in the description. And other than that guys, hope you enjoyed today's video and as always, thanks for watching.